This is an Arduino board. If you are not familiar with it, it's basically a small computer. People use it for all sorts of exciting projects in robotics, uh, engineering, and Internet of Things. Some people have actually used it to send objects to space. Today, we're going to see if we can get an AI to program it without any human intervention. These are called light emitting diodes, and they're basically little bulbs that give off light when you connect electricity to them. This is a servo motor. It's a special type of motor that rotates in a very specific series of patterns depending on the kind of electric signal you send to it. This is a breadboard. It's a device used to prototype and test electronic components. You can make complex projects or simple projects, but it's a good way to test your projects before you put them to something more permanent. And these are called jumper wires. Jumper wires are basically used as wires to connect electrical components to each other. So we're going to connect the Arduino to these LEDs using the jumper wires connected to the breadboard, and then we shall connect it to a servo motor to try and build a traffic control system. But we're not going to write the code ourselves. We're going to get ChatGPT to write the code for us. Let's go. So what you need to do is connect the Arduino board to your computer via USB so that you can program it. So the first thing we need to do is set up our electronic circuit so that we make sure that everything is working. So I'm going to very quickly connect the Arduino to the rest of the circuit board so that we know that everything is working and ready for the code. So because of how the code is going to be set up, we need to connect the Arduino in a specific way. Generally, the connection to the LED is connected to pin number 13. I'm going to do a quick montage of this connection so that I don't bore you with the specific details of the connections. If you want to know how to use Arduino, I'll be making a series of videos on that later, but you can also check out the Fundibots channel, which has an introduction to Arduino. And there you go. Everything looks good. The Arduino is functioning well. The program that's on it is running well. The LED is running well. Everything is connected. So it's basically ready to be programmed. Let's get started. So you go to the chat GPT through website. It's free to use uh, for now. Um, log in with your credentials or your details. And then it will pop up a few notifications that this is a chat research preview, tell you about how it's collecting data, and then ask you if you'd like to keep some feedback for it. And then you're good to go. So the instructions that are given to artificial intelligences like this are called prompts, uh, which is basically a question that it then responds to. So we're going to give it a prompt. And in this case, we're going to write, ask it to write a simple Arduino program. So let's see what it says. And look at that. It's actually writing the code for, for me real time. Isn't this cool? Isn't this like amazing? There are people who've written much more complex code than this uh, through ChatGPT, but just it being able to pick information within its training database and then spit out a bunch of code that actually makes sense is phenomenal. So let's see what the code looks like. And then now it's going ahead to give additional instructions on how you can connect the LED to the Arduino, uh, which is really good, really, really good study resource. I think this would be a game changer. So it's basically written a piece of software that's going to control the Arduino. And at first glance, I can already see a small minor error, but generally it looks pretty solid. So let's test it. So if this code works, what's going to happen is that it's going to blink the LED on and off in a specific pattern. So what I've done is basically reset the Arduino board. Uh, it's basically now waiting for the code. So what I'm going to do is get the code from chat GPT-3 plug it into Arduino's own programming environment, run it, and see if it works. Okay, so let's paste this, upload, and see if it works. Okay, so like I'd mentioned earlier, there is an error, and the Arduino programming environment is actually telling us that there's a problem. So what's supposed to happen is that this little piece of code is supposed to come inside the setup section in order for it to work well. So let's try that and upload and see if it works. So as you can see, it's working pretty well. Um, the code had some slight issues that needed to be fixed, but it's pretty decent for what we needed to do. So let's amp it up. What I'm going to do right now is basically set up the three LEDs that I need for the traffic light system. Uh, I need a red, I need a yellow, and I need a green. 
Uh, however, I don't have a green, so I'm going to replace that with a blue. Um, so I'm setting it up and testing each of the LEDs individually uh, because sometimes you might think that it's your code that's not working and yet you actually have a faulty diode or resistor. So this is just a quick montage of me doing um, a, a test routine to make sure that all the lights are working, all the resistors are working before we upload the code. Okay, so all of our three LEDs are working we can proceed to upload the traffic light code. So what I'm going to tell ChatGPT is to essentially modify the code that it's given me and give me a simple traffic light pattern. Give me the same program, but use three LEDs controlled in a traffic light pattern. So what I'm trying to do is get it to remember the context in which it's working with. So now it's writing the code. Um, so far it looks pretty decent. I can see that it's made the same mistake of not having the, the modes in the setup, uh, but so far it looks pretty good. It's giving some additional instructions. It looks pretty decent. We have a red, a yellow, and a green LED, and it's telling me, it's giving instructions for when the LEDs should turn high and low, which means on and off. And then, yeah, so they're saying green high, green low that's fine and then it's giving time as well so go wait for three seconds wait for one second wait for three seconds one second etc um, but as you can see this section of the code needs to be adjusted and we shall fix that later it's also saying that the red led needs to be connected to pin 9 and the yellow led needs to be connected to pin 10 and the green led needs to be connected to pin 11. So let's quickly do a montage of those connections. I won't go into the details, but this should be enough for those who want to follow along to make the accurate connections. So this is the same setup that I had earlier in which I had tested the LEDs individually and given them some resistors to protect the circuits. If this doesn't make sense to you, that's fine. You can skip over this section. Uh, but basically I have set up the... Uh, it's basically now just waiting for the code. Um, oh, it looks like I had... Okay, so now I have set up the ground, which is basically the negative connections for all of them. So that's the green or the blue connected to the ground. That is now the yellow that's being connected to the ground. Okay, so it looks like everything is working fine. So let's now look at the code. So we'll just copy and paste the code that we've gotten from ChatGPT into the Arduino, replacing the original. Then we'll try to upload it. We'll obviously get an error because we already noticed that it missed the setup. So let's now create the setup section. And then that setup section will include the pin mode code. And then if we try to upload this again, I think it should be fine. And yep, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's actually working. You have the red, the yellows, and the greens blinking in a typical traffic light pattern. Uh, so it's essentially following the code that is written, which means that ChatGPT has written perfectly functional code that can control a very basic traffic light system. I mean, this is a very simple Arduino project. This is like beginner level. Uh, but the fact that it's able to sort of collect this information and put it together is really is really interesting. One thing that I do want to note is that um, when I tried this again, it gave me better code because this time I didn't have to do any modifications, but I didn't record that. Um, so it seems like it gives you um, different um, results every time you compute. So I don't know, you know, I don't know what the background for the model is there, but it's definitely uh, getting a little bit better. The other thing that I want to mention is that the plan for this video was to add a servo motor to control a sort of gate system so that when the light is green, then a gate opens and traffic flows. Uh, but unfortunately, I kept getting all these errors with ChatGPT and I think like for about a couple of hours it just failed. So I just stopped the video there. Uh, but I hope you've really enjoyed this. I'm going to leave you with this nice little visual of the fully functional traffic light system. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.